Howdy mates, good afternoon. How are we all doing today? It is March 20th, 2022, and before I get into depth of this video, I am proud to say that now it is spring in the northern hemisphere to be specific. Now, as part of today's adventure, I'm proud to say that I am on the, with the Kayaka, on the Mayaka. <laughs> I don't know, just always saying it that way just cracks me up every time. Because it's like, you know, it, it rhymes. And it makes me think, you know, the Mayaka River sort of got its name from Kayak. Who knows? It's just, it's just funny to me. But today does mark the first day of spring. So really that will mean, especially down here in Florida, it's going to get warmer, especially during the day. But noticeably, while I was out here, I am starting to see a little more blooms occurring, especially with like the cardinal air plant, for example. But you... You figure you give it another couple of weeks as it gets into April, and there will be even more blooms. And surprisingly today, the river is actually fairly quiet. Not too many people. Because, and I'm okay with that. Because, like right now, a lot of people are on spring break. You know, people from... All different parts of the country are all coming down here to see the Gulf. So, with that being said, it's just, it's too crowded to visit <laughs> the ocean right now. But I will bet you a lot of students won't come to the Mayaka River for a little trip for spring break. <laughs> so, won't complain about that. But yeah, the Mayaka River, as I have mentioned before, it is about uh, a little over 70 miles in length. And it literally starts just a little north of the Mayaka River State Park. And it meets up with the Charlotte Haba. And I'm sure just a moment ago, in the background, you did hear the uh, red-shouldered hawk. I've actually seen quite a few of those today. So that's, that's really neat. But yeah, this is the first time I've went kayaking in about six weeks. It's been a minute. Just haven't really had the chance to do so. But yeah, this is, uh, this is one of my favorite little spots to stop at whenever I'm kayaking on the Mayaka. But you can see, too, like this live oak here in front of me. You may notice that the leaves are, like, bright green. Well, that's just because the thing is, even though this tree is deciduous, so it loses leaves, it has that ability to immediately regrow new leaves but it doesn't go through you know a, a bald period like it like the deciduous trees do up north way different unlike down here they just they're immediately regrown so you figure since now it's getting into the spring season it's bound to be that some of the leaves will shed and then will give opportunity for new leaves. But live oak is a quite predominant tree that you will see along the Mayaka River. Yeah, I had my little hammock set up over there. I actually just got up from a little nap. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys one more little plant. And that should wrap up the video. Alright, so here 
This is something called a uh, partridge pea. This is actually a type of legume, or legume. Uh, I always struggle to pronounce that word. But the partridge pea actually produces these uh, pea pods, hence categorizing it as a legume. And typically plants like that, what they do is they fix atmospheric nitrogen and convert it into a different form of nitrogen, mostly uh, nitrate, for example. Because most legumes have a rhizobium bacteria in their roots that allow that conversion to happen. Now here's like the flowers that belong to the partridge pea. Please note though that with the partridge pea, it's inevitable. All, all parts of the plant are inedible, not safe. So if you ever are in any form of situation, don't, uh, don't feed on this. Because I even think it's dangerous for livestock too, in addition. So just please keep that in mind. Yeah. So uh, by the way, though, if you haven't like went on the Mayaka River, it's truly one of a kind. It's awesome. I love it out here. Like I said, I was I was a bit overdue for another revisit. So, all right, you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying this sun day. Well, there we go. <laughs> and once again, journey on a journey is outwards. Take care, folks. See ya.